Hey guys, it's Video Game Cadet here and it's time for another live video game hunting episode. I'm super excited today because this last weekend there was a bunch of yard sale postings. Um, Saturday and Sunday, there were like 90 or so on Craigslist. So it looks like it might be the beginning of yard sale season, but it ended up raining in my area, which totally screwed over the weekend for me. Uh, so now it's Monday. It's not a day I usually go game hunting, but I have the day off. So let's go ahead and get on the road and see what we can find today. Crazy mother... starting off this trip off right because I got my game hunting fuel right here and I'm gonna need it because I was playing a ton of Smash TV on the Super Nintendo um, most of the night so I need some fuel here all right guys let's get to the game hunting Hey guys, like you just saw, I have a sweet bag of Goodwill video games. And it was actually my first Goodwill of the day, which is super exciting. Now I'm I am really uh, anxious to keep on the road and see what else today has for me. Because usually I hit a bunch of different stores before I get a good find, but this one was actually my first store of the day. So that is super exciting. So let me show you what I picked up. We have Prince of Persia, the two thrones for the PlayStation 2. And that is complete. Another Prince of Persia game, The Sands of Time for the PS2. Complete in box. We've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the PS2. Complete in box. Halo 2 for the original Xbox. This one is in really, really great condition. And the disc looks great. And finally, from this Goodwill, we also picked up Fable, the original Fable for the original Xbox, complete in box. That's a pretty, pretty awesome score. Now they're not like fantastic, holy grail games, but for your first goodwill of the day, uh, you can't really ask better than five really great titles. And I paid $2 a piece. So $10 before taxes is a, a good start to the day. So I'm gonna keep rolling and see what else I can find today. All right, so we just left the Way and Pay Goodwill. Um, they have a huge electronics section with tons of video games like you guys probably just saw of me recording inside there. Now, I don't think I actually got these three games on camera, um, but there are some amazing titles for the N64. Really, really excited about this. So I picked up Mario Party. We have Mario Kart 64 and Zelda Ocarina of Time. What a awesome lot of N64 games. Now you probably saw a bunch of other stuff in there. They had a, um, a big group of GameCube games that were loose. 
but I checked them out and they were really scratched up. They had a, also had a few systems like a PS3 that was overpriced, an original Xbox that I already have two of. So, but I did find those N64 games. They were priced at $9.99 in each, so $30 or so before tax. Now for the Ocarina of Time, that is a duplicate for me. So, um, but actually my current one is a player's choice. So I'm gonna definitely flip that old one and probably be able to recoup most of my uh, $30 for these three games. So I wouldn't be surprised if I end up paying just a couple of dollars in the end for Mario Party and uh, Mario Kart. And I didn't have them in my collection, which is, which is surprising, but I'm super excited now to have them in there as well. So uh, let's keep game hunting right now. guys it had been a few different stores that I hit that um, nothing came out of it but I finally did get another video game score which I'm pretty excited about now I hit this um, family thrift center and I was pretty sure that I was gonna find something because they got a big haul of GameCube games and what they do is they initially price all games at like seven dollars and every Monday after that they half it until I think they they reach 75 cents and they stop um, discounting them so when I first saw that uh, big GameCube haul they had, I picked up a couple of different games originally, like the first week, the first day I found them. Uh, for $7, I picked up Mario Party 5, I think, and uh, maybe one other at full price. And then I've been watching the rest of the games as they, uh, you know, some get picked up by other collectors or resellers. But um, I've had my eye on a few games. If they hit a low enough point, I would pick them up. And so that's exactly what I did. I'm pretty... Uh, Pretty sweet games here. So we have Beach Spikers Volleyball. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but so they were originally priced at like $6.98, seven bucks, and then they drop it um, every Monday. So I think that went to uh, $3.98, and then it hit $1.98, and that's when I'm picking it up. So Beach Spikers Volleyball for the GameCube Complete Inbox. We have Ghost Recon 2 Complete and Outlaw Golf, also complete for $2. So $2 a piece, six bucks all in all, a pretty good score. These games aren't uh, you know, amazing, but once they hit a price drop, um, you know, I was ready to pick them up at $2. All right, guys, I'm back in the game room and ready to get my gaming on because I have some pretty sweet new games to play. Price charting has Mario Kart and Mario Party both at 40 plus dollars so a really fantastic game finds for me today you know you also saw those gamecube and the xbox and ps2 titles it, it was pretty awesome and i'm uh, i'm pretty excited to uh be able to play those games and add those ones to my collection but that wraps up today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to comment and give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button